Former Obama economic adviser Alan Kruger has died. This was announced by Princeton on its website today. He died over the weekend. Kruger, well known to everybody in this community, had served as the chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors from 2011-2013. And of course, since the late 80s, he was a professor at Princeton, the James Madison Professor of Political Economy. Alan Kruger was 58. We're joined now by Bloomberg's Peter Coy and Michael McKee, both of whom knew Professor Kruger over many, many decades, in fact. And let's talk a little bit about everything that he gave to the economics profession. Peter, let me start with you. He was obviously known as a labor economist, among other things, and did great work from terrorism-related economics to the gig economy-related economics. What are your best memories of Alan? You know, he had a stellar career. He was uh, chief of the economist of the Labor Department under Clinton. He was the head of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Obama. And he did, as you said, labor economics was his, his specialty. I would say what he'll probably be most remembered for is his work on the minimum wage, finding that contrary to what you'll find in any Econ 101 textbook, at least up until his work, uh, it's not true that raising minimum wage necessarily kills jobs. The, he looked at across the border between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. It was a natural experiment. One state raised the minimum wage and one didn't in fast food. And they found that it did not actually um, have the expected effect. And I would say that research, as well as following research by other economists who corroborated and extended it, helped make the case for the higher minimum wages that we're seeing now in states and cities across the country. A lasting legacy and of course those studies, myth and measurement, the new economics of the minimum wage and inequality in America, what role for human capital policies. Michael McKee, he was counsellor to Tim Geithner way back in the financial crisis days before which he came as, became assistant treasury secretary for economic policy in the Obama administration. But he was counted on widely for his research and his expertise. Yes, and he identified a lot of the issues in labor market economics before they really became part of the mainstream conversation. As Peter was saying, he did his work on the minimum wage, uh, laying a foundation for what ended up uh, as a broad increase in minimum wages around the country. Most recently, he had done work on the gig economy, as you mentioned, and the impact on labor markets and individual workers. And then in uh, the recent months, he'd been doing a lot of work on the opioid epidemic and how it affected uh, workers and and the labor force and the overall U.S. economy and showing that it was a real, uh, it had a greater impact on the economy than perhaps had been expected, which helped drive the focus in uh, Congress on uh, the whole issue and helped uh, some of the uh, uh, additional money that's been spent on that uh, program trying to help people in the, in the crisis. So he's had an enormous effect. Um, I think the, uh, the biggest thing that I would also say about him is for somebody who had such an enormous effect, he was perhaps one of the lower key economists. Uh, he did not uh, engage in a lot of um, histrionics. He was just uh, one of the nicest people you could meet. And we can attest to that because he came in here so many times over the years and was right. absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah He uh, was a regular. Every jobs report, there'd be Alan Kruger there breaking down the jobs report for people. One little known fact about him is that he was a high jumper on the Cornell track team. <laughs> and uh, he graduated four years after I did actually at Cornell. So we have that in common. He was a guy who knew a lot of uh, journalists. He was a longtime columnist for the New York Times. He, he was the kind of guy who would help you through understanding a story, Absolutely. as Mike said, in a low-key way. And um, he just had a book out, by the way, in January, Rockonomics. It was one yes. of his long-term <laughs> loves. He was a great fan of Bruce Springsteen and rock and roll. Rockonomics, a backstage tour of what the music industry can teach us about economics and life.